Hi, welcome to my kitchen. Today I am cooking corned beef and cabbage. I don't cook corned beef and cabbage very often. I don't even cook it the traditional once a year. My husband is Greek and he doesn't particularly care for it. I'm Irish and I kind of like it. I don't have potatoes in my diet anymore. So, and I sort of remember it being served with carrots and potatoes. Well, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to have an onion and all these spices that are in here and cabbage. That's why I'm calling it corned beef and cabbage. Slice one onion I like the flavor of onion when it's been cooked a long time. I like it raw. I like onion. I like it any old way. I like it when it makes me cry. Like right now. A little bit of olive oil. And my onions. Ow. This is an uncured corned beef round. You may have to shop around to find an uncured corned beef. This is all natural ingredients, not, not chemically treated. No artificial ingredients, minimally processed. I happened to find this one at Trader Joe's, but if you shop around, I'm sure you'll be able to find an uncured corned beef. And this is how it looks. I can see bay leaf in there, celery seed probably. It's so pretty. Okay, now it's ready to go into the to the pot. The recipe says to use water. The recipe that was on the wrapper, but I'm going to use beef stock. Give it a little richer flavor. I think I'll use this whole carton. Kind of changed my mind. That looks pretty rich. And I notice that it's got sugar in it. Oh my gosh, you know, pisses me. I'm going to dilute it with water. It's about half of this carton of beef broth and probably two cups of uh, filtered water. I'm going to bring this up to a simmer and put it in a 350 degree oven. And I'll leave it there for two and a half to three hours. What I've decided to do with these, instead of putting them in the corned beef and cooking them in the pot, which I find them to just disintegrate, fall apart, and I want them a little more intact. So what I'm going to do is quarter these. So I'm just going to steam this for about uh, five minutes. An hour and a half left. Hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up. So the juice of two lemons, and that will probably be two tablespoons of olive oil and a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Two tablespoons of olive oil. And whisk it. And that's it. Put a little sp spices in it. I just generally put salt and pepper. Well, 
little salt and pepper. And there's the dressing. While I'm waiting for the uh, corned beef to get ready, I decided I would taste one of these steamed cabbages with my vinaigrette without the honey. And my decision is it can use the honey. It's very good. But I put a little bit of honey in this plate so I know that I can put a little bit of honey in my vinaigrette. It doesn't take too much. I would say about that much. It's all to taste anyway. Some people may like it sweeter than others. And apparently I like it sweet. So all you have to do is whisk it in. Okay, my second head of cabbage is done. Just beautiful. I love this steamer. In case you want to know, it's all clad. It has a nice insert. And you get to use the bottom as a saucepan. Let's see if the corned beef is done. Ah! Oh, what an idiot. There it is. Looks smaller. Okay, what I would like to do is strain all that spicy stuff out of this juice because I don't want them stuck in there. I'm not really fond of biting into them. So let's strain them. Now we have the strained juice. I'm going to put this back into. Spa tub. These can actually be cut in here because they do taste nice. Four ounces is one serving. I just ate my corned beef and cabbage with that honey, mustard, lemon, et. And it was, without a doubt, the best corned beef and cabbage I have ever, ever had. Now, if my husband, that damn Greek, if he doesn't like this, there's something wrong with him. And you know what? He's not going to like it. More for me.